Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So, you know what today is. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. That's right, it is Friday. It's Female Friday. And on this day, I like to showcase female artists, past, present, and future on my channel. So, uh, this next one is by a group. I did a video of theirs last week. And this is Aespa. And the song is called Girls. Now, it was just I, I, ironic or maybe just... Uh, foretelling that this song just came out less than 24 hours ago and so uh, I'm able to get in, in on this pretty quick and when I saw it it already had like 13 million views so evidently it must be either a really good song or you know they're a lot more popular than I knew so uh, if you like videos like this and others on the channel please don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So um, I can't remember much of the song from last week. I just know that uh, I'll take a I'll take a slice at this and look at what I said last week and content. I can't remember. I can't find it from last week. I know I did one just recently. Well, maybe it was two weeks ago. Uh, but so I, I can't really remember how this is going to sound. So uh, be bear with me because uh, you know I do so many K-pop videos and so many groups. You know there are some that stand out that I can remember for every every single time. Like I see you. Look at that, my P I C. See, I can remember that all day long because that song is stuck in my head. Uh, but there are some others that just are fleeting. So uh, I apologize if, if they're a fan of yours. I'm not disrespecting them. I just can't remember what I did before. So without any further review, here is Aespa and Girls. And here we go. I'm 
sooner or later was that while I was doing a reaction I'd uh, play the song here so I could remember certain parts of the song um, the one part that stood out to me was when it broke down when the song broke down and it sounded kind of dubstep to me it sounded like Nine Inch Nails when it went in that direction uh, which I thought was like oh okay but to me, this song talks about maybe, you know, being something that wasn't too great, but yet it grew in a, in a position where it should not have grown. And in growing in that position, it made them stronger. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying to look at the lyrics that are coming up here. It was like the, the pre-chorus. Follow me, bow down, watch me, watch my scale. You'll get surprised, say, wow, we come in, we scream, get loud. Listen, my sound, call it upgrade, we coming. Um, blooming in chaos, there it is, we them girls. And confronting fear, that courage, ah uh, yeah, whenever we are together. We them girls, we them girls, we them girls. Okay, now, that, there we go. So, um, the song had a little kind of eerie feel about it as well. Um, which puts me into that Dreamcatcher category of, you know, because Dreamcatcher stuff was, you know, it, it was almost like trigonometry, and I'm not good at math. There were just so many complicated things that were going on that was just into a story. You had to know, like, the pre-story and what album, what was the, the uh, what was this, the format for this album, and, you know, the comic book, and this and that, and it was like, it's just too much to learn, or, or to, yeah, too much to learn 
when listening to a song. When listening to a song, it's okay if you learn from the song, but I shouldn't have to take a test to uh, to listen to a song. Uh, you know, I shouldn't have to go do a, like I'm doing a, a a paper that you know I I forgot to do last night, so now it's, I got to do it for class. And okay, what is it? What is it? Uh, and then try to fake it to you guys because that's not what I do. You know, I I you know, I'll report on the things that I know and maybe some of the things that I found as I was pulling up the video, but I don't do a lot of research on these. Uh, and I, also, not to say that I was hating on Dreamcatcher. No, I liked them. I liked how they were different. You know, I ha liked how they did sound like something from Japanese anime. And I wasn't listening to anybody else that had that particular sound. So I liked where Dreamcatcher filled in that spot. So I'm not hating on Dreamcatcher. I'm just saying there was a lot to try to figure out. You know, this is the... I'm not even going to go back into that. Yeah, it, it, it this had a lot of different flavors. And, and you know, I, I, I liked it. Uh, it was just, sometimes it was just too much. And I'm only saying too much. It almost went too, so too far as to try to do too many transitions. And sometimes when you do too many transitions and the next transition doesn't meld with the one before that, you might as well have used that transition to make a whole another song as opposed to trying to use it for a 10 or 15 second spot in a particular song. And I say that a lot, so I'm not just, you know, pointing this particular video out. A lot of them do that. Um, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the video as much as I like making them for you. And then after that, all you need to do to help me out with my channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.